favourites, hates and lemmings and announcing a contest which is an amazing makeup giveaway and in fact I'll quickly mention that now. This is a sponsored contest and that's just as well because it's a really good website and they're giving you $50 which will definitely go a long way. They've got um, various brands, in fact I'm about to blog on it so it will all be within my blog post. Personally I would be most excited about Becca just because that's a brand which I've never tried and which I've heard a lot about. They've got many more and particularly brands which we can't really easily get in the UK but obviously it's open internationally. Um, I won't go on about it, I'm just giving you a heads up because it's open to anyone who follows me via YouTube or via my blog so please head below and check it out in greater depth. Moving on to my favourites. Um, First thing I'm going to start with is hair products can be very, very hit and miss. I don't really like the smell of salon hair products, I don't know why. Uh, but this one feels really fresh, like kind of shower, moisturiser, that type of really clean smell. Soapy almost. And it looks like that, so you do dip your fingers into it, but it's not greasy at all, and I do suffer from greasy hair. But it's got a really nice consistency to it. In fact, I'll try and see if I can show you. Um, it looks like that when you stick your finger in it, and I actually don't need much at all, and I just go like that with my fingers so that it's invisible, and then sort of concentrating on the ends. I think you can even see it just makes the ends really sharp and holds it wherever you want. You can even flick it right out if you want and it's just amazing. Obviously that's not the best slick. Um, but anyway, it's just so nice. It eliminates frizz and it puts your hair exactly where you want it. So love that and no sticky feeling or greasy feeling. So top marks for this. I'll put the details below for that as well. The next thing which I really like, I've been wearing virtually every day since I got it, and it's by Number 7, it's limited edition. Number 7 is a brand I don't really look to for makeup just because it seems so bland and kind of middle-aged and not very inspiring, but whenever their new limited collections come out, I always find there's something that I love, and with this collection it has to be this. And it's called Nude Rebellion, which is quite a good name. It's a really soft lipstick. It reminds me of Creme de Nude in terms of its really soft consistency and the way it kind of slips out of the barrel almost because it's so soft, if you know what I mean. And it's just a lovely darkened peach colour and it's matte but with a slight satiny feel about it so it's not all... It's not going to leave your lips all cracked up like some matte lipsticks will. It makes them look really plump and still quite matte. So if you can get this at your local boots, it's priced fairly high, like around £10 mark. But I use the £5 boots vouchers the way most of us would, so it worked out really cheap. Nude Rebellion, and that's Rimmel East End Snob, so as you can see this one's a bit more peachy, but the East End Snob does pick up the peach and East End Snob just goes with any kind of colour, it's really good, it's one of those extremely wearable colours and again with lips, I've never ever been a lip gloss person with the exception of uh, Guerlain -like lip glosses which I can abide because they're not too sticky and yet they give excellent colour payoff, they don't just wear off within minutes the way some non-sticky glosses do. And it is a bit sticky, it's not completely like a lip balm, but it's not got that horrid MAC lip glassy, um, sticky lips thing. probably told you about this already. And I'm wearing that right now on top of those two lip products. And it just gives a really dazzling shine. Which the next thing which I really like, it's really hard to find I think, or at least it's limited edition, and I've wanted it for ages. And thanks to one of my really kind subscribers called Vicky. Thanks so much, Vicky. Girl Friendly Paint Pot by MAC. And it looks like this. I'll open it. And it's a really sort of grayed, grayed down pink. And I can't wear pink eyeshadows or anything 
warm on my eyes, almost mauve, and it looks really good for a fresh eye look. So that's been with me quite a few days of the week. I'm wearing now on my eyes is something I'm about to review for the e.l.f. channel and I'm amazed once again. e.l.f. have got some really good standout products and I'm just so happy to have found e.l.f. because I am quite snobby about brands even though I like the odd cheap thing here and there. I think e.l.f. has really changed the way I look at makeup because these two are their new eyeliners. It's from the normal range, so they're only £1.50 each. They come with an inbuilt sharpener, and the sharpener really works. And it's actually really hard to find a good sharpener, so it's worth £1.50 just for the sharpener alone because they make it a really sharp point. These really remind me of MAC grease paints, two particular shades Dirty and Zinc Zone, which were the two which I got. And these haven't got names on the pencils, but from memory, I think this was called So Bronzed, and this was called Graphite. And I'm going to quickly swatch them, just so that you can see how smooth they are. Literally really soft. And that's the other one. <clears throat> so this is the bronzy one, and the great thing about this is that it's not too orangey, so once again, it's not too warm toned, so I can totally wear it. And this one is a really lovely um, grey steel colour. And together they make an amazing taupey shade eye. And they really don't crease. Hopefully you can see my eyes. I've worn this all day. I really like it. So very, very happy with these and highly, highly recommend them. In fact, the way I did my eye was I've got no eyeshadow on at all. I sharpened the pencil. And then with all the product that was left, obviously being careful not to slip my finger open, I just took it off the sharpener and then, and then smoothed it on my hand like a palette and then applied it as if it was paint. So I smoothed on the whole grey bit and then I outlined my socket with this um, bronze colour and it gave it an overall very taupey, cool tone shade. Now the next thing which I'm wearing right now and which I love is this, which I've just got my hands on a backup, which is quite difficult because this is unfortunately limited edition, but it is still behind counters if you go to one of the less busy counters. And this is Girl Out Terracotta Blush and Sun, and this shade is 03. And um, I'll show you what happened to my other one. I decided to depot it. I I'll show you the packaging in a moment, and um, three quarters of it ended up on the floor, and um, eventually I decided I was going to, I was determined to rescue it, so I've cobbled it together and it is more or less all there. I pressed it with alcohol, which hopefully killed all the germs and all of that, but this is what it looks like. Obviously that's really ugly. This is an elf palette, by the way, which are excellent for that. I took out the grid. And it looks really horrible, but whoops, um, nearly did it again there. Um, looks really horrible, but on my face and on any face, I think it looks great. And they're not joking when they say blush and sun because it really is. You don't need a blush at all when you wear it. And I'll show it to you in its original. It comes with this really cute brush. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is that, obviously the price, it's £26, which is okay, it comes in lovely pouch, which is okay, but unlike, um, unlike the terracotta powders, like the one I showed you in my last haul, which is about 11 grams, this is only 5 grams, which is really tiny. So again, the packaging is really adorable and it's got those interlaced G's, which I always pretend means Gale, and it looks like that. So embossed. This is the MAC 224, which obviously I've had for a while, it's one of those classic brushes. But um, I don't use it on a regular basis for eye blending, just because it is quite big. But I've started using it for concealer. And this makes any concealer amazing. 
my Laura Mercier secret concealer, which I don't recommend and still don't recommend, just goes on really wonderfully with this. So instead of having to throw it away, I've started using it. It doesn't really crease as much when you use this brush. And I've been topping that off with, again, a subscriber recommended I get this to make my Laura Mercier work properly. This is a Laura Mercier secret powder in 01. And it's just um, a white translucent powder with a tiny bit of sparkle in it, which I'm sure you won't be able to see. It really does set my under eye concealer really well and again really helps with not creasing. And I will mention Benefit Powder for Large, which I still love. And I don't know what the difference is between these. This is a bit more pink toned. This is just clear, but they both do the same job, so I like them equally well and I've still got another powder flash, so I wouldn't necessarily buy this again, but certainly going the extra step and setting your concealer really does work, especially when you're noticing fine lines, it really makes your concealer stay the distance. I'm going to briefly talk about two things which I've gone off, so um, just about say their hates, because Gerla is amazing for bronzer. I think that's their forte, the same way that Estee Lauder, it's their um, foundations, which are their strong suit. And it makes you realise when you try a different bronzer how wrong they are. This is MAC Spring Shine. It looks really nice, obviously, in the compact, it's got that gradi gradient effect. And um, it is quite nice, but you have to be really careful because otherwise it's like Bare Essentials Warmth. Warmth looks amazing if you just put the right amount, but if you go any step over that right amount, you look like a brick, sort of orangey red, not nice. And similarly, I picked this up at the CCO not long ago. This is MAC Eversun, and it's from Style Warriors, which is one of my favourite collections because it had Brave New Bronze, my favourite ever lipstick. It's slightly orangey. So again, I just find that it's not the most flattering blusher. And I don't think the Lasting Power is that good. I've moaned about MAC blusher Lasting Power before, but I still carry on buying them. So um, yes, must remind myself they're not good. So that's everything. And um, oh, and as for my lemmings, I've been shopping quite a lot recently, as always, but. I've not been into makeup that much, I've just lost my zest for it momentarily. But the one thing which I am very keen to try is some Trish McAvoy because their eyeshadows are absolutely amazing. The only thing which puts me off is that they come in loose pans, so you have to make sure you've got your own compacts. But I think with the e.l.f. compact it should work quite well. So that's my latest lemming. Trish McAvoy eyeshadows and some of their travel kits. So I'm going to look into that hopefully in the future and get back to you. But for now, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you enter my contest because um, you can choose whatever makeup you like. I've certainly got my eye on a few things and it's a really nice website with lots of niche products and I'm happy to be able to hand that down to you. So um, head over there and Hope to see you over there with your comments. Thanks very much for watching and talk to you all soon. Bye.